A couple of summers ago, I went to a local bookstore and purchased a small and old copy of a collection by Edna St. Vincent Millay called A Few Figs from Thistles. You should have seen the look on the lady's face behind the counter. She just froze up and said, I don't like her. I wanted to say, I don't care. I understand. She's written some rather caustic poems, um, like Thursday, that starts out with, And if I loved you Wednesday, well, what is that to you? I do not love you Thursday, so much is true. She also wrote the sonnet, What Lips I've Kissed and Where and Why, obviously not really remembering all the loves of her life. Um, she's also written a very popular one you've heard read a lot, but since there are so many readings of it, I'm not going to do that one. It's called Love Is Not All. First line, you know, love is not all, it is not meat nor drink. The thing about Edna St. Vincent Millay is she understands that she's being a little naughty, and she understands that it might not always be a good thing, but that at least she's being honest. I like that about her. She's very honest. I think we could all learn from that a little bit instead of pretending that we have such flowery, perfect lives and loves. This is also from A Few Figs from Thistles. It's called Ricardo. We were very tired and we were very merry. We had gone back and forth all night on the ferry. It was bare and bright and smelled like a stable. But we looked into a fire. We leaned across a table. We lay on a hilltop underneath the moon, and the whistles kept blowing, and the dawn came soon. We were very tired, we were very merry, we had gone back and forth all night on the ferry, and you ate an apple, and I ate a pear, from a dozen of each we had bought somewhere, and the sky went wan, and the wind came cold, and the sun rose dripping, a bucket full of gold. We were very tired. We were very merry. We had gone back and forth all night on the ferry. We hailed, Good morrow, mother, to a shawl-covered head, and bought a morning paper, which neither of us read. And she wept, God bless you, for the apples and pears, and we gave her all our money but our subway fares.